Welcome to Libraries Today. This program is intended to recognize and highlight the unexpected ways local libraries serve their communities today. I'm your host, Stan Howe. In 2018, the WVLC unveiled two new awards, Librarian of the Year and Library Champions. The Library Champions Award is designed to recognize individuals other than librarians and state and federal elected officials who promote public libraries in West Virginia. The WVLC recognized three champions in the award's first year, former state delegate Jim Morgan of Cabell County, Mina Goodrich of Jefferson County, and Jeff Pyle of Mineral County. For Librarian of the Year, the award went to Paulette Kirby of the Monroe County Public Library in Union. Paulette was recognized for her leadership in providing children's and youth programs, as well as adult education classes to the Monroe County community. She was also cited for her fundraising work for the library and for her role as a community leader. All the award winners were recognized at special ceremonies at the Culture Center on Capitol Grounds in Charleston earlier this year. Let's take a peek. Every day, and I probably not, don't have to tell you all this, but more than 20,000 people of all ages visit a West Virginia public library. That comes to more than 5 million visits annually. And libraries are in the business of helping people learn, learn about themselves, learn how to play golf, <laughs> learn about others, and learn about the world they live in. So that business requires extraordinary support on the national, on the state, and on the local levels. Support that is often unrecognized. And the awards we're presenting tonight are intended to change that situation. In November, the library commissioners enthusiastically endorsed the idea of presenting awards to library champions and a librarian of the year. In early December, WVLC invited the library community to submit nominations. The Library Champions Award is designed to recognize individuals such as trustees, local officials, volunteers, and patrons who have made exceptional contributions to public libraries in West Virginia in the past year. Librarian of the Year honors a single employee of a public library for his or her contributions to the library community. Thank you to everyone who submitted a nomination. Thank you to the West Virginia Library Association that graciously agreed, agreed to include this award ceremony at this annual Library Day at the legislature event. Betty Gano, chair of the West Virginia Library Commission, will present the 2018 Library Champions and Library Librarian of the Year Award. Good evening. <clears throat> the first one is a library champion. His name is Jeff Pyle. He is a trustee at Kaiser Mineral County Public Library and was nominated by Connie Sutton, the director of the Kaiser Mineral County Public Library. <laughs> I'll read the award. It says, West Virginia Library Commission 2018 Library Champion Jeff Pyle, in recognition of your exceptional contributions to the support, improvement, and promotion of public libraries in West Virginia, and for your outstanding service to the Kaiser Mineral County Public Library, the West Virginia Library Commission is proud to present you with this award. Our next library champion is Mina Goodrich, friend extraordinaire, Shepherdstown Public Library, nominated by Hallie Taylor, director of the Shepherdstown Public Library. Mina Goodrich has been a staunch supporter of the Shepherdstown Public Library for her whole life. Born in Shepherdstown, she used the library all through her childhood and school years, and after her retirement from the field of nursing, she returned to that same little library to participate in helping it thrive. She was one of the first board presidents of our Friends of the Shepherdstown Library, an organization that has grown so much that it now provides approximately $18,000 yearly to our income. She first served on the Board of Trustees in 1999 and has remained as an ex officio member ever since. She has volunteered her time at the library every Monday for the past 18 years. 
Her enthusiasm and love for the library has most recently manifested in significant financial support for the construction of a new, larger facility, something that has been sorely needed for decades. Minus leadership on the Capital Campaign Committee resulted in the raising of $2,350,000 in our local community alone. She is a shining example of the perfect volunteer, complete dedication to her library, flexibility, creativity, positivity, and an absolute joy derived from helping others. She is unequivocally worthy of this honor. Our next library champion is Jim Morgan, legislator, advocate, and crusader. He was nominated by Judy Rule, the director of the Cabell County Public Library. Thank you all very much. When you have Judy Rule as your head librarian, there is nothing else to do but do what she asks. <laughs> I appreciate this award. If Mike Hall is still here, and I don't know that he could be. Hi, Mike. How are you? I understand that they had to throw that book out because the coloring was outside of the lines and the Crayolas left a mess in the book. Judy has done more with libraries in Cabell County, obviously, than anybody else has done. And our library system, I think, is one to be admired in the county, and as far as that goes, in the state and in the nation. And Judy is working hard right now to build another library. She will not be happy as long as she has nothing to do. So <laughs> I will help her as much as I can. As a county commissioner, we are limited and for you legislators in the room, remember to take care of the counties while you do this legislation this time. Thank you very much. And our final award this evening is Librarian of the Year, and that goes to Paulette Kirby, Director of the Monroe County Public Library. She was nominated by Susan D. Cobb on behalf of the Monroe County Library Board. The Monroe County Library Board wishes to nominate our very own Paulette Kirby for the Librarian of the Year. Paulette meets the public well and provides a warm and friendly face to the patrons. She promotes the library at every opportunity. For example, she attended Monroe County's Autumn Harvest Festival and set up a booth advertising the library and its functions. In addition, she took pictures of families holding a sign saying, I love my library. Parents and children were delighted with the pictures and information about the library. She invited Sharon McCrum to our annual open house in December. Ms. McCrum accepted and attendance was phenomenal. Ms. McCrum sold out all her books, refreshments were served, and again, all this was coordinated by our librarian. She has created many events for children. She has had activities for them at holiday times. She initiated a summer reading program for children. She worked with other local groups to start an imagination library program in Monroe County. She advertises these activities by making her own flyers, pamphlets, etc., and distributing them. Paulette has proven to be a very valuable asset to the community as well as the library. She coordinates well with other organizations in providing activities, meeting space programs, and offers her assistance as needed. She attends many of the civic organization's meetings to promote library functions, events, and classes. Paulette works with adult education in many aspects, genealogy, computer classes, bridge classes, yoga and exercise classes. She strives to make the public and patrons aware of all the activities and classes that the library offers. In addition to all of this, she helps fundraise for the library by having book sales on a regular basis. She also has had scholastic books available for purchase with part of the proceeds going to the library. She keeps a donation jar on the front desk. Paulette is the type of person that sees what needs to be done and she does it. Realizing there was a need for passport application access in the county, she became qualified to issue passports. This not only provides a service that was needed and income for the library, it brings in some people who might otherwise not have come to the library. 
Paulette is energetic and has accomplished so much in the library in the two and a half years she has been here. We are so proud of her. We feel she deserves to be recognized for all her effort, work, and success in making the Monroe County Library a very visible and inviting place. Paulette, would you come forward? I'm speechless. <laughs> I do have to take a moment, and I would like for my staff, my adult ed staff, and my board members to come forward, because without the individuals that uh, work at the library and my family, please come forward, please. Caroline, to Tammy, please. Wilma, and my family. Jack and Lauren, please come forward. Without these individuals that's standing around me tonight, it wouldn't be possible. A leader is only as strong as the people that are with them. And here are the individuals that make my life wonderful every day. The support of my family, the love of my family, the direction of the West Virginia Library Commission and my board, and the volunteers and the staff that make everything happen every day. Thank you. When we come back, we'll pay a visit to the 2018 Librarian of the Year, Paulette Kirby. Welcome to Understood.org, a free online resource for parents of kids with learning and attention issues with personalized recommendations, tools, and expert advice. I'm here at the Monroe County Public Library with our 2018 West Virginia Librarian of the Year, Paulette Kirby. Hi, Stan. Hey, how are you today? Doing well. Well, let's talk first about winning the award. Tell me about that. Winning the award, Stan, was it was an honor. Um, my board, it was very unexpected. Uh, when uh, they called me on the phone, uh, you know, they let me know that my board had submitted um, an application. And I was... Uh, Taken back. You didn't have an inkling prior to that? No, I did not. <laughs> so you were pretty surprised, I suppose. Very surprised. <laughs> yes, I was. Well, tell me about yourself. How did you end up as a librarian? Well, I started out um, after college uh, in 94 working with community action, working with nonprofits, organizations, mm -hmm. uh, left nonprofits uh, to work for the school system. I was a career counselor and an after-school program coordinator for 11 and a half years. My daughter graduated high school, uh, left to go to college at Marshall University. My husband said, come home, you know, work on a master's degree, rest. And I, I did that. And then after about a year, you know, there was a posting in a paper. I, I, I really miss community services, nonprofits working with kids. And so I applied and I was able to, the opportunity to uh, work at Peterstown first. So it wasn't a part of a, an initial plan in your life? No, it was a plan to go back um, and educate and work with young people and, and individuals in the community. So you started where? No, uh, community action. Community action. But in terms of library, you didn't start in Union. No, I start, started at Peterstown. Small library in Peterstown, West Virginia. Also in Monroe County. Also in Monroe County. So how long have you been in Union? I've been in Union four years. Now, did you grow up in this area? No, I grew up in Greenbrier County. So in, for folks who may not be aware, Greenbrier County is one county up from Monroe. Well, it's about 15 minutes not north too far. of Monroe. So you could argue and say, yeah, I kind of grew yeah. up in this area, but you were more of a Greenbrier kid than a Monroe County kid. Yes. Uh, where'd you go to school? Greenbrier East. So now you've been in the library business for a while. Yes. Uh, what's your favorite thing about working in a library? Is the one-on-one -on -one with the community mm -hmm. and individuals and patrons. And it, everything changes. Every day it's a new adventure. So 
you know, one of the primary reasons you were selected as Librarian of the Year was your work in children's and youth programs. Yes. So tell me about the kinds of things you do here. We have summer reading. We have after school programs. We have Taekwondo every <laughs> Thursday. We have um, uh, what's called teaming and learning in communities. We work on projects in the community. For example, Christmas. Um, we, we read to children that are going to kindergarten, or we go into the classroom and we read to kids. So tell me about your adult literacy programs, because one of the other aspects of your performance that was being judged yes. was how you uh, worked with the adults in the community as well. Yes. Um, Stan, in the community, what we do is, like I said before, we do, um, we all come together. It's called teaming and learning communities. We work with adults that need one-on-one -on -one tutoring. They need uh, help re getting their HSE, mm -hmm. their high school equivalency. Uh, we work with tutoring, individuals working on their two-year, four-year, and there are some working on their master's degree in that program. We have a second Wednesday uh, book club. Uh, this past year, the second Wednesday book club said, wouldn't it be great if we um, could uh, have an author come in? So I emailed Sharon McCrone. She said, sure, I'll be there. That's a big time author. It was great. Mm -hmm. What's been the reaction of the community to these programs? The reaction to the community is they understand that it, it is teamwork. It's bringing a community together to build a community. You know, if you don't have a strong community and offering resources and services, where do they go? They leave your community because they have to travel to find the same resources. You know, uh, you mentioned the community several times and you were cited uh, for your work as a community leader no. uh, here in Union. Yes. Uh, so tell me, uh, tell me about that. Okay. I guess some of that outline is I love to volunteer for different organizations, programs, because, mm -hmm. as you know, money is limited sometimes. Um, so what we do is we come together. I volunteer and team work, um, team with the uh, Union Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. I work with the United Way. I work with Monroe County Education Foundation. Oh, I'm a part of teaming and learning communities. Um, I'm a locally, the local uh, adult ed coordinator for Monroe County. I work with my high school. Um, you, there's different organizations that we really collaborate with. You wear a lot of hats. We, and it's not just me, it's my staff. Mm -hmm. My staff, if, you're, if you don't have a, a strong staff, um, then you can only lead so much, you know. Of course, fundraising always important, yes. no matter where you are in, in, as a librarian. Uh, you were recognized for that as well. Uh, how big a challenge is fundraising for you? Well, what we do is um, you have to have um, an activity that people enjoy. They walk away with a smile on their face, their stomachs are full, <laughs> and they walk away with joy. You know, something that they feel like that that's worth giving to. I mean, people are only going to give to something that is successful. Stan, would you give money to something that's failing? Probably not. Okay. It's obvious you wear a lot of hats. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that. Uh, what do you consider your most important role? As a wife and a mother <laughs> is my most important role. And then um, I guess the third role for that is being a positive role model for youth in the community. Now, how important is the library in a small community like Union? The library here in Monroe County is a hub. I know the Library Commission had uh, um, sent an email out wanting to know how many organizations use the library over a one-year period. I think back then it was 226 different <laughs> scheduled events here at the library, and that's from uh, cancer awareness to uh, Taekwondo, uh, it, uh, with the Indian Creek Watershed, uh, the Democrats' communities, 
of just multiple organizations using the library as a hub organization. 226 in a year? Yes, multiple okay. times. I mean, and, that's and, yes. several times a week. Yes, yeah. it's booked sometimes the top and bottom. They're booked every night. That's pretty impressive. It is. Only two libraries in the county. Library ends up serving, I guess, a much bigger area than just Union. Yes. So you ha how, do you, how do you reach out to the rest of the county to let people, and you know, the folks in Union that know you're here, right? Yes. So how do you reach out to the rest of the county? Well, I think through word of mouth and for, from positive outcomes. Mm -hmm. You know, being a part of organizations and teaming with organizations to make things happen, people, positive word, spreads and information is that is it a difficult thing to do to try to to reach out i don't think so um as long as you're reaching out and you're helping as you reach out you know you, you don't always reach out once you know you have to continue to reach out and then people say you know the library and union they have those resources what inspires you most as a librarian um Providing resources, books, and ebooks so that individuals or children in Monroe County can go and travel somewhere else. What kind of advice do you have for other libraries, especially smaller libraries in the state? I think advice for, for me is um, you have to um, go on a lis listening tour of their schools, clubs, um, nonprofits, um, organizations, um, the other um, groups that are meeting, and listen so that you could work together to make a great program. You know, I have a tendency always to, to team up mm -hmm. because sometimes I have something to offer and they have something to offer. Thanks, Paulette. When we come back, we'll get a guided tour of the Monroe County Public Library. Every child is curious. George, look what I found. Turn their curiosity into a lifelong love of learning. Create a curious reader. This is super bedtime reading. Share a book together today. Visit read.gov. Back here at the Monroe County Public Library in Union, West Virginia, where we have been talking with the 2018 Librarian of the Year, Paulette Kirby. Paulette, let's, uh, why don't you give us a guided tour of the library and introduce us to your staff. Okay, Stan. Uh, Stan, this is Caroline Clesley. She is my assistant. And this is Wilma. She takes care of the front desk. <laughs> and um, um, there's no way that I could uh, have ever uh, been uh, library of the year without these ladies. You said it was a team effort. Uh, it was team a effort. team effort, mm -hmm. yes. Ladies, nice to meet you. Very nice meeting nice you as well. Meeting you. And again, thank you very much for everything you do for me. Thank you. Paulette, why don't you give me a tour of the rest Hi. of the library? Thank you. So Paulette, uh, why don't you describe for me where we are right now? Hi, uh, Stan, we're here in our um, children's department. Mm -hmm. This is where we have uh, a lot of our uh, Title I reading programs with uh, parents. And, and they're about three to four year olds. Okay. So as we move forward, and here I see some computers over here. Yes, this is our uh, public computers. Um, it's uh, the junior area, and also we have some of our West Virginia information. You know, Paulette, one of the things I've noticed all through the library is the terrific art on the walls. Yes. Thank you, Stan. Let me show you some of the art and introduce uh, one of our artists. Brenji Doan. Brenji, tell us a little bit about the art organization that you represent today. It started out with 2012 Genevieve Gillen. Um, she passed away in September the 16th of 2017. But, uh, she was the president of the Moreau Art Alliance and I was taking classes with Rose Dobbins through that. So the art journey has started from there. Thank you, Brenji. Thank you, and thank you for being here today. So, Paula, tell me about this area. This area is our uh, 
area where people come in and they uh, work on their laptops or they work on their iPads. Uh, they're able to check out books uh, that are uh, fiction, um, look over the, uh, re the beautiful pond that we have, and just relax. And as we walk this way, where are we now? We're here. We're still in our fiction area. We have videos. We have audiobooks. We have a little bit about history. We have an activity for our patrons. Um, just an area for people to do some research and some quiet time. So this is the first floor. Why don't we go take a look at the second floor? Sure. Okay. So Paulette, what is this room? This room here is our Angus Campbell Rolls Learning Center in Adult Ed. Um, here's the room where adult literacy uh, we have uh, coordinators, teachers, individuals working on their HSE, their two-year, four-year, and some are working on master's degree in career direction. And we have a large room here. Yes, this large room is our meeting room. Uh, this is the room that is uh, booked sometimes a year in advance. Many times we have the library booked uh, the meeting room and upstairs every single night. In the corner, we have a genealogy department uh, where individuals are working on their genealogy. It's called Kindred Corner. Paulette, thanks for the tour. I really appreciate it. But before I let you go, I have one more question. What is your vision for the future of this library? Well, thank you, Stan. My vision for Monroe County Public Library is to expand programs, uh, book collection, technology, and programs for the county of Monroe. Paulette, thanks for your time and thanks for the tour. And again, congratulations for being the 2018 Librarian of the Year. Thank you, Stan. We'll have more when we come back. Share your heart. Share your love. Make a shelter pet part of your world. The 2019 WVLC Awards are right around the corner. Nominations will be accepted beginning October 1st, 2018 for the 2019 Librarian of the Year and Library Champions Awards. The Library Champions Award is designed to recognize individuals such as trustees, local officials, volunteers, and patrons who have made exceptional contributions to public libraries in West Virginia in the past year. Up to five nominees will be selected as a library champion. Employees of libraries and current state and federal elected officials are not eligible for this award. Librarian of the Year will honor a single employee of a public library for his or her contributions to the library community in 2018. To be considered, the nominee must be a current employee of a West Virginia public library. Please consider any nominations very carefully and help us recognize those who contributed in a very special way to the library community in the state this past year. Be sure to provide plenty of specific examples of how your nominee positively affected libraries in 2018. Your narrative explaining your nominee's contributions is the basis for selecting the award winners. For information on how to nominate someone, just visit the WVLC website at librarycommission.wv.gov backslash news. I'd like to thank Paulette Kirby for being on today's show, a worthy recipient of the WVLC's first Librarian of the Year Award. I'm Stan Howe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Libraries Today. <laughs>